I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do, right at home. This cricket is not dead, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, how do insects that don't migrate survive the winter? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a cricket, a jar, and your freezer. Today, I'm going to show you how to freak your friends out. I'm talking about making it look like you brought a cricket back to life. <laughs> so, get yourself a live cricket, and then you're going to pop it into a container. Of course, you want to get the container first, because it's kind of hard to pop the cricket in there without the container. Now, place your container in the fridge for 15 minutes. Not 30, not 20, not 16. Well, okay, 16, but you know, don't go over like 16. Don't take your eyes off the cricket. appear to be dead and then why does it appear to come back to life well don't look at me take a closer look at this the reason the cricket appears to be dead is because the cricket is in a state of suspended animation where the cricket's body functions stop completely but the cells don't die insects can do this because of three major reasons first off some insects have a very high saluted body fluid content having as high as 20% dissolved solution in their bloodstream. This solution causes the temperature of the bodily fluid, which would normally freeze at zero degrees Celsius, to be lowered, sometimes as low as minus 80 degrees Celsius. These insects are known as freeze avoidance insects. Second, insects release a protein into the bodily fluids that attaches to crystals that are forming. This stops crystals from growing any bigger. These insects are known as freeze-tolerant insects because they can tolerate a small amount of freeze damage. Thirdly, insects have evolved bodies that decrease the nucleation point, or the areas where water can begin to crystallize. It's these three things that allow insects to withstand freezing temperatures and still sustain life. So now you know more about hibernation. You know, making it look like you brought a cricket back to life is why science is so cool.